Last one I'm doing here for you today. Get um, your, the sides you're on, you're either a middle back, a left back, a left front, and a setter. So the side, you're same thing. Middle back, left back, left front, and a setter. Middle back, left back. And if there's an extra person, she's going to be middle back. Right, so go right in back right there. All right. This is the Leskevich infamous drill of 15. I've done this all my life. So here's what happens. The ball goes in play, right? You could only hit the ball to middle back, left front, left back. And you're going to set the left front each time. So you're going to hit the ball either middle, left back, left front, and the ball is set, right? So hitting down the line is out, right? Yeah. And as soon as the ball crosses the net, what are we doing? We're going to rotate. Very good. All right. And for my drill of 15, you have to get a dig, set, hit. Counts as one. You should have a drill of five, 15 contacts. So let's see how this works. One. Out. Zero. Everybody sets. There's no, okay, stop right there. Good. Got the concept, except there's no blocking. No blocking in this drill. All right. So, now, this is a cooperation drill. So we want to hit the ball at somebody. Middle back, left back, left front. You could start out with your player standing on the floor, or you could have him jump, depending on how much ball control you have. So, to finish this drill, we need to get what? 45 contacts in a row, or 15. A dig, set, hit counts as one. If you hit the ball out in the net, out of bounds, you net, double hit, you're at zero. If you don't have a sequence, you're at neutral. So we keep it going, right? Let's go, right here. All right, here comes another one. One. Two. Three. Four. So if it's that tight, like you could try to just save it. Save it so you can keep the ball in play. Right? All right, let's go. Two more attempts here. One. Keep it in, keep it in. Still at one. Two. Three. Four. Five, nice dig. Six. Still six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Still 10. Oh, 10. Very good. Good job. Now, so you could make it generic like they're doing, or you could put your setter to set, your DS is to be left back or wherever else they play, and you could just rotate the hitters between middle back, left front. Setters are the setters that play normally. It's a great drill. I've done it as much with the national team for two and a half hours. And we, we do it a lot. It's, you could ask any player that's played for me. It weighs on you. It's a mental focus. It's a ball control drill. It's, we created that with the national team to, hey, we only counted a good set, dig, and hard hit. So you can do whatever you want to control. They could stand on the ground. Great little drill. Coaches, you're on.